When buying property in Portugal, most people only tend to consider places like Lisbon, Porto, Madeira, the Algarve and the Silver Coast. Very few consider the city of Braga. Now, with a population of 193,000 and in the northeast of Portugal, Braga is very much an underrated city. And today, I want to give you 10 reasons why either from a lifestyle perspective or even as a solid investment, Braga may be a good place to put your money in the real estate market. I will give you a few disadvantages and my conclusion at the end. So here are the advantages. Number one, Braga is steeped in history and has many tourist attractions, including numerous churches, museums and ancient buildings from different eras. It has an alluring pedestrian historic city centre as well. Number two, accessibility. Braga is only about an hour away from Porto by train, so the city is very accessible and the cost of this ticket is very cheap at around five to seven euros. Or indeed, there are direct buses from Porto Airport to Braga, which take about an hour and can cost less than 10 euros. And also there is accessibility to river beaches. Now, although Braga is not on the sea or ocean, like for example, Porto or the Algarve, as I say, there are river beaches nearby to make up for this. So you can still have that feeling that you're on the beach. Number three, the golden visa. Now in 2022, unfortunately, in many parts of Portugal, you can no longer buy real estate and obtain a golden visa after five years, namely places like Lisbon, Porto and many parts of the Algarve. But this is not the case in Braga. So you may see a lot more investment coming into this city going forward. Number four, and um, the most important, prices. Property prices are cheap when compared to Lisbon, Porto and the Algarve. And they're even slightly cheaper than Coimbra, which I did cover quite recently. Now, although prices are starting to rise, on average per square meter, we are looking at less than one and a half thousand euros per square meter. And even in the city center, they won't cost too much more than this. Although the days of finding property in the city centre for 1,200, 1,300 euros per square metre have, are disappearing. Number five, crime and safety. Now, even though Braga is a medium-sized city, crime and safety are not an issue. There is virtually no crime in this city, so it makes it a lovely place to live. Number six, tourism. Tourism is on the rise in Braga and European Best Destinations, an organisation based in Brussels, which promotes culture and tourism in Europe, asked in 2021 600,000 travellers from 192 countries around the world where they would like to travel. And believe it or not, Braga came first in this survey. So, Another reason why potentially it could be a good place to put your money in the real estate market. Number seven, also quite important, Braga has actually got pretty decent demographics. So good population growth. If we look at 2001, the population was 164,000. In 2011, it had increased to 181,000. And in 2021, it has increased to 193,000. And this trend in population growth is expected to continue in the next 10 to 20 years. And other factors in favor of Braga is that it is quite densely populated with a youthful population as well. In fact, around 35% of the population is under the age of 25, while seniors only represent 11% of the population. So these are quite decent demographics for a Western European city. Number eight, rental demand. Now, with Braga, known as one of Portugal's best university cities, if you decide to rent your property out, you should have not too much difficulty finding tenants. Now, demand for Airbnb is increasing and is quite high. But as with many other countries in the world, 
Portugal is in the process of making it more difficult to do Airbnb. So please do be aware of that. And number nine, I want to talk about the increasing number of expats. Now, there are more expats making Braga their home. The number of Brazilians, for example, living in Braga has more than doubled to over 6,000. And finally, number 10, let's talk about the quality of life. Braga often comes on or near the top of surveys done on the best city to live in Portugal. So that is a good sign if you want to live in this city. Now, of course, as with any other video I do, nothing is absolutely perfect. There are always disadvantages. So let's talk briefly about them. Uh, number one, I want to talk about the local salaries. Now, the local salaries are quite low. So we are looking at under 1,000 euros per month net. So certainly these salaries are not high. And number two as well, the job opportunities are not fantastic here. They're nowhere near as good as Lisbon or Porto. Number three, also, let's talk about the rising prices. As I um, uh, was saying previously, you used to be able to get pretty good city centre apartments in Braga for 1,200 euros per square metre, not so long ago, but this has changed quite fast. Although I will add property prices here are still very, very reasonable. And number four, you're not quite going to get the lifestyle of a big city. If it's a really big city you want, then obviously Lisbon and Porto win in that category. So what's the upshot of this video? Should you buy here? Now, if you're looking for a lifestyle purchase and you don't want a massive city to live in, but a city which pretty much has most facilities, then this for me is a no brainer. I think Braga is an absolutely beautiful city and a lovely city to spend time in if you're a digital nomad. So yes, from a lifestyle perspective, I would definitely think that this is a good place to put your money in the real estate market. Now, from an investment perspective, I would say it's not clear that this is a great place to put your money in the, in the real estate market. But my theory is, is that I don't think prices are going to go down in Braga. I think they will continue to go up. Obviously, they will never reach levels that you will see in Porto and Lisbon because these are the two major cities. But I do feel as though prices, at least over the next two to three years, will go up and there is not going to be too much downside in the near future. So... Let me know your thoughts. Um, have, I'd love to know if um, you have actually heard of this city in Portugal, because many people have heard of Porto, Lisbon, the Algarve, Madeira, um, the Silver Coast, but not so much of Braga. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching this video, and I shall see you very, very soon on the next video.